Hello Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm doing um, a little bit different reading this week. This is for the 8th through the 15th Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Water Signs. That's Scorp Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Um, you will pick a pile um, for your situation. You can wait and see all the situations, see which one resonates or pick one before they're flipped. But this is what's coming for you in the next week. So Spirit and Angels, can I get three situations, please? Three situations for our water signs. We got two there. That's all right. Okay, let's see what we got. The first group, if you picked this one, spirit and angels are calling for you to forgive and learn. As you release and heal from your past, the experience... You experience more love in your present moment. The diamond dreamer, which is material wealth and true prosperity. The ace of wands in the reverse and the eight of pentacles. So for this group of you, um, you could be giving a, a partner the cold shoulder. They could be trying to uh, get you to forgive them. They could be working hard to build your trust back up again. And you're just kind of looking past but spirit is encouraging you to forgive and learn. Um, once you forgive and let go of this energy, um, you're going to be able to allow love to come in that much quicker. You're not um, feeling it anymore with this person. You're not feeling the love and passion you had at one time for this person. And you're holding off leaving because you're worried about losing material wealth. You're worried about losing your, your things. Um, so you're not following your heart. You're not following your intuition. You're not moving forward because you're worried about losing what you have, but spirit wants you to ask yourself, what is real prosperity? What is real wealth? Is it things or is it true love and sharing life with a partner that um, you love and adore? So it's time to forgive and learn and move forward and either um, release this person or, or um, put work into this relationship. The second group, is calling in a soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. The wise woman of Wonderland is integrity and compromise. The ace of cups, strength, and the two of cups. Wow. For those of you in this group, you are most definitely calling in your soulmate. You have been working on yourself. You've been working hard. You have been showing strength and integrity and in, um, taking control of your life. Uh, you're seeing something, you want it, you're going to go get it. Uh, you're doing it with the utmost integrity. You're doing it the right way. And you're not allowed, allowing your wants and needs to be compromised. You are going after that soulmate. Um, and you are most definitely manifesting that. This person loves and adores you as well with the two of cups. There's that intense passion. There's that love and admiration. And you guys just, you have the same dreams, you have the same hopes, and you are with the utmost strength moving forward with, with one goal in mind, and that's having a new passionate beginning with your soulmate. I mean, these are all cards, all five cards are calling in your soulmate. So for this group of you, um, you most definitely are coming into a soulmate connection this week. You most definitely are having a new um, beginning with, with tears of joy, with, with this person that, um, is mirroring you, your mirrored soul. It's either a soulmate or a twin flame relationship for this center group. The last group healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive those in your family who have hurt you. The fire prince, um, optimi the optimism and aggression. 
the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. So this last group of you, you guys are finding out some news. You're coming out of the fog. You're, you're finding clarity. Um, it's going to possibly hurt, and it's going to cause family issues. But um, you have to find out this truth. You have to come out of this fog that you've been living in. Um, don't be too aggressive with finding out this news. Um, keep keep a, a positive mindset. Keep the hope. Keep the faith because this is going to pass. You're going to come out of this um, hurtful truth that you're receiving and you are going to lay down um, this relationship. You're going to walk away. Even though it's very uh, passionate, very fiery, very um, connected, you're not going to stand for the hurt of this relationship. Yeah, the sex is good, but it just hurts too bad. So allow the universe to, to help you move on, to help you move forward. Keep optimistic about your situation. But most importantly, um, forgive those in your circle who have hurt you. Allow these, um, these hurts to fall away. This is something that happened in the past um, that you've been holding on to. You've been holding on to this resentment, and it's time to let it go. It's time to let that, uh, that burden of this hurt go and um, allow yourself to move forward in a new direction with, with clarity on what you want in life. So just as a recap, this first group, it's time to forgive and learn and move forward. Um, this person hurt you and you're not allowing a new start, but you're still holding on to them because you're scared to lose your material things. Uh, once you let go of this relationship, you're going to be able to re, um, re get those new things or those material things. So follow your heart because true prosperity is when your heart is full. This middle group, you're calling in your soulmate. This group is amazing. You're, um, taking control of the situation. You're um, putting yourself out there for a new beginning with your soulmate, with the two of cups, and you most definitely are um, manifesting a soulmate relationship. In this last group, it's time to let go of those family hurts. It's time to let go of that 10 of wands, move forward with truth, clarity, and a new beginning, and you guys are going to be just okay. Um, stay optimistic because everything's going to work out for the best. So that's all I have for you, water signs. I hope you enjoyed this reading. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.